I, if that's your phone, put in the password. Hmm? Put in the password, your phone, right? Then dude goes off. He's like, bro, you really trying me right now. Now what you trying to do, fight? And bruh, as soon as he said that, I was bust out laughing, bro. Cause <laughs> I know that I'm a goofy, very quiet, chill dude. But do this dude not know I got a crazy side locked up deep inside? These hands are ready to eat for everyone. Fight or flight. Everybody has been in this situation before. If you haven't, everybody has been in this situation before. And it's just a time where either you have to put up them hands or pull out them temps. There are multiple reasons why a fight breaks out. It can be because of a nigga moment. If a brother steps on your brand new Air Forces, them white clean Air Forces, man, it's gonna start a war because people's egos can go either way. It can be high or low when it comes to an apology. And based off that, Somebody might get their ass beat, or it could be because of miscommunication. This is where instigators thrive. Samantha out here, not your friend, she telling lies. She just wanna see chaos. She's behind your back talking about, oh, Jason said your breasts are like gorilla feet. You gonna let that slide? Hmm, couldn't be me. Or it could be because you got called out. And that's what happened to me. It all started like this. I was having a serious debated argument with a friend, and I'm all like, all right, all right, guys, all right, listen, listen. Y'all gotta hear me out, hear me out. Y'all gonna look at me crazy for this one. We're listening, we're listening. All right, if he keeping it a buck, Ben think he be Goku. No, 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 no you no, 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 no. Bro, he cannot be Goku. Listen, listen, listen. From this perspective, if Ben 10 turn into Alien X, it's GG's, bro, GG's. What you talking about? Goku not even gonna let him get the chance. So it's the transmission? Bro, when has Google ever attacked somebody while they're powering up? You know he out here all about equal rights? You know what, you know what? Y'all just sit on it, bro. I gotta get my lunch. The bell about to ring. I'm finna go get it. Y'all see that? That's where I thought up. Not the argument. I won the argument. But I left my phone. I broke the number one rule at my school. Never leave your stuff unattended. Because it'll be attended by somebody else. That school that I went to didn't have the best reputation in town. And let's just say, theory was a serious issue there. If a survey was conducted on the 2021 census, the most tough in the area for the past decade, major spikes will pop up in the area of my school and they'll steal anything bruh i remember one time i came back from a jv football game and they stole my homie back tire who steals a back tire the whole back tire was gone i never seen anything like that i was shocked i was shocked what do you even do with a back tire bruh it didn't even stop there it was like they were targeting my guy and a couple years later they robbed his locker crazy but anyways point is Leaving my phone on the table was basically saying, here, have it, I don't want it, it's your gift from me to you. So luckily, lunch line wasn't that long, I made my way back to the seat, and I see my phone was missing, a delinquent had stolen it, bruh, I felt naked, wow, just seeing that it was gone, it was like a part of my body went missing, I look and I see who exactly has it, dude trying to get out of there as fast as he can, I'm like, yo bro, where you going, bruh, dude was shut, it was like he see his life flash before his eyes, he's like, what? I said, where you going with my phone? This, 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 and this not your phone. Then I hear a random person yell, yeah, he right, that probably his. And in my head, I'm like, man, shut your dumb ass. Don't, don't enable his idiot, see? I know what my phone look like, bruh. Then I told dude, I, if that's your phone, put in the password. Hmm? Put in the password, your phone, right? Then dude goes off. He's like, bro, you really trying me right now. Now what you trying to do, fight? And bruh. As soon as he said that, I was bust out laughing, bro. Cause <laughs> I know that I'm a goofy, very quiet, chill dude. But do this dude not know I got a crazy side locked up deep inside? These hands are ready to eat for everyone. And also, not to mention that I'm a big ass dude. Like, not hot wise, I'm actually 5'10 with some Timberlands on. But I was a slow dude. Don't let these thick figures fool y'all. And him. He's a, he's an actual stick figure. He's a shrimp, a twig. This guy with the height of an electron. My wallet probably weighs more than him. If I wanted it, I could put him in the hospital with high medical bills. I don't know who he's looking at like that, 
But he better take the base out of his eyes. But I wasn't trying to fight him. And I can tell he wasn't trying to fight me either. He, he was basically shaking. Me personally, I had too much to lose fighting him. I could get benched in football. Or even worse, I would have to deal with my parents. They they would cancel my suspension to life. They might send me back to the islands and I wasn't even born there. But at the same time, I ain't no bitch. So I just went up to him with the most intimidating face I could pull off that screamed, bruh, try me. And if he swung, y'all already know what would have went down. Cause I never attack anybody unless provoked. And as I'm prepared for him to punch me or something, dude backs up, slammed my phone on the table and took off, ran out the door, bruh. He was out of there faster than Antonio Brown and the bell rang and it got crowded. So I really couldn't catch him if I really wanted to. But I ended up seeing him again though, throughout high school. And surprisingly, he'll say what's up to me. He probably thinks I forgot about what happened that day, but I didn't. But my philosophy was there's no point in digging up trouble. So I just told myself, forgive, but never forget.